show you how to wet felt a flower. Um, this is kind of like a trumpety, maybe like a lily type flower. So this is all wet felted, there's no needle felting. We're going to create the main part of the flower, so the petals, and then we'll do a little bead to go in the middle. Alternatively, you can pop a little button there if you'd rather. And I've just sewn a brooch back onto mine. You could embellish a, a bag or something with it, so sew directly to a bag, but I like to wear mine as a brooch. So let's get into the wet felting. So I've got a towel on my surface just to catch any excess water. I've also got a bar of soap, some elastic bands, selection of merino wools. You can use merino, Corydale, um, even alpaca. The finer the wool, the easier it will be to wet felt it. Um, bubble wrap and some netting. First of all, I'm just going to lay my bubble out, bubble wrap out, nice and flat. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do essentially the back of the flower. So I'm going to go with a green, so I've kind of got a green stem on the back. Holding the wool quite far down, pinch the top, the very, very top between your fingers and the palm of your hand so the fibres slide out nicely. I'm going to lay this in a little kind of star shape just in the middle. So that's just the back of my flower. And now I'm going to start building up colour um, for the main kind of petals. I don't want it huge, I mean, we want it kind of a manageable size. So I'm going to aim to only go to about here, which is probably about 25 centimetres in diameter. Obviously this will all shrink down as it felts. Remember to crisscross your fibres to allow the wools to felt to each other. If everything's all going in one direction, you won't have an even felt and it won't evenly shrink. It's just building up, crisscrossing. Now this doesn't take too much wool at all. It's a very delicate little thing. So I've gone that way and that way. Now I'm going to lay in a circle. So more like a flower shape. I'm just gonna add some other colors just tiny wispy bits. So this is the, the face of the flower. What I'm going to do now is lay my net over it. I've got some hot water with a little bit of soap in, just a tiny bit of hand soap in. And I'm just going to wet this over. Just made some holes in the lid so that it's a sprinkler. No rubbing, just press. You can almost see where there's dry bits, where there's still air pockets. I'm just going to press all that water in. I'm 
that it's feeling pretty wet to me. I'm taking my bar of soap. I'm just going to give it a rub over. Just so you can start seeing the soap. And now I'm going to just gently rub over this wool. Very gently, you don't want to be rubbing so hard that you're moving everything. There we go. So I've been rubbing that for a minute or so. And now it's time to roll it. I'm going to keep the net on and we're going to roll our bubble wrap from the bottom up to the top. I'm just going to fold the bottom bit over. You may get some little bits of soapy water come out. That's fine. You actually don't need it that wet for wet felting. I'm going to pop some elastic bands on. You can use um, yarn or string if you'd rather not use elastic bands. Now I'm going to count how many times I'm going to roll this. I'm going to do probably about 50 rolls. I'm going to make sure that I do full rolls as well. So I've got the, the end of the bubble wrap on top. So I'm going to make sure that I roll it far enough that that end comes back over. So I'm going to do it about 50-ish times. Gone a little bit baggy in places, that's fine. Take the elastic bands off. Got loads of excess soap and water here. Oh, that elastic band broke. and unroll it so you can see it started crumpling felting in that direction just going to lift off this net just to make sure we don't get too stuck to it And the fibres are getting stuck to the net because they're starting to felt through it. But the net holds them in position nicely for when doing the rolling. There we go. I'll just get rid of some of that excess water. I'm going to pop the net back on, press it to try and get as much air out as possible. Last time we rolled it from bottom to top, this time I'm going to roll it from left to right. I'm just going to tuck these ends in though. And again, I'm going to roll it about 50 times. It's important to do it roughly the same in each direction, because otherwise you'll end up, if you do it 100 times in, say, this direction, you'll end up with a shorter flower that's longer. Another broken elastic band. OK, 
again peel that netting off those fibers are really starting to felt so I can't really pinch them up too much you still want your ends all wispy that's fine I think I'm actually I don't know how much the camera can pick it up I can see that my fibers up here haven't felted in quite the same way as down this corner so I'm actually going to roll diagonally so from here along there just to shorten these in this area over that's fine. Gently take the net off. There we go, I'm pleased with how that's looking. Now I'm going to I'm going to grab some warm-ish, not hot, just just lukewarm water, just to give this a good rinse in. So I'm just going to peel this off. That's the back. That's all nice and felted too. I mean those fibres are hardly moving. Pop the bubble wrap out of the way. And as I say, this is just lukewarm water. And we can be quite rough at this point. So give it a good rinse, good squeeze. Don't wring it, just squeeze it. can also do whilst it's damp I leave a bit of water in that I've not squeezed it all the way out you can throw it just bashing those fibers together really pleased with that last thing i'm going to do is shocking it so i'm going to get two bowls one with super duper duper hot water one with cold water just going to pull this out keep it nice and wispy so i've got two bowls of water here this one is super duper hot this one is my cold one all I'm going to do is pop the wool in. Just let all the warm water soak into the fibre, squeeze out any air bubbles. Squeeze that water out and then pop it straight into the cold water. You'll feel all the fibres tighten together. Again, get all those air bubbles out. I'm going to repeat that again. Take it out of the cold water and give it a good squeeze. Get it as dry as possible. What I'm actually going to do as well, just really get it dry, is I'm just going to roll my towel into a sausage shape, give it a squeeze, roll it back out. 
So at the moment it doesn't look too much like flour, but as this dries, it's going to dry into a nice kind of trumpet. So I'm going to grab one or two elastic bands. And just in the middle, I'm going to pinch that on the back. So you can see it's forming a trumpety petaled flower. Grab the elastic bands. Pop them on there. And if you want to kind of break some of these fibers apart to kind of make more defined petals, you can do. Bit hard to pull apart as they're quite felted, but. So now I'm going to let that dry off and then we'll finish it off with a brooch back and a bead to go in the middle. To do the bead to go in the middle. I'm going to do it in the purple, yeah. Just going to take some wool tops. Like that. Try to roll it without creating too much of a seam. Roll your fibres around. I've got my warm water. Squeeze the water into that bead. Little bit of soap. and start rolling it. Again, not too much pressure. You just want to be putting enough pressure on it that you can feel, I don't know, it almost feels a bit like Play-Doh. You can just about roll it into shape. If you roll it too hard, you flatten it. That is, it's hardly any squish in it. That is pretty firmly felted. Again, I'm going to shock this, so I'll get some hot and cold water. As it's only small, I've only got a small amount of water. So into the hot water, squeeze as much air bubbles out as possible. Squeeze the water out and into the cold. Again, into the warm. And give that a squeeze out. And then let that dry alongside your flour for finishing off. My flour and my little bead have been drying. I've popped them on the heater overnight. Now I'm going to pop the two together. I'm going to sew these together. This is what it's going to look like with the little bead in the middle. And the bead's going to help the flower hold this shape as you sew it on. I'm going to take this elastic band off. Just like when we block knitting or we say we dry our hair in a certain position, the wool fibres will stay roughly in the position that you've popped them into on the elastic band. And you can see they kind of, even if I pull, they want to spring back to that shape. Going to figure out which side of my bead I like the most. I think there. I'm kind of going to nestle it in slightly. So open up the flower a wee bit and just pop it in the middle. 
and get a sewing needle. I'm going to start it off on the inside of the petals and then that's just going to hide the knot. And then take it through and just catch the edge of the bead. I don't want my needle to come up through the middle of the bead because we want to hide our stitches. So I've just got the needle coming up the side of the bead. And then back down and through to the other side. Nice little stitches all the way around. Obviously on the back it doesn't matter too much if you see the stitching. But it's still nice to try and keep it neat and tidy. Finished stitching around the bead now. It's holding nice and secure in the flower. Now I am going to pop the brooch back on. I'm going to use a slightly larger one than I usually do. This is a two centimeter brooch back just because it's a larger flower. Obviously if you've done something smaller it won't need such large brooch back. I'm going to figure out which way I want it to sit. I think I want this to be the top. So I'm going to pop the brooch back going across and just get into the middle of my flower and stitch the brooch back on go through the little hole through the flower make sure that's secure and back through that hole Can do that again just so it's nice and secure and then I'll repeat that for the other two holes. Let's just fasten off So I'm going to tie the knot and then I'm just going to feed the needle through just so it weaves that end in. Trim it off and close it up. So that is the completed wet felted flower. I hope you have found this video helpful and I will see you again very soon. Happy crafting! Bye!